Hi everyone and welcome to another catch up video. I'm just going to briefly talk to you about what I've been up to on your behalf for the last couple of months. Uh, so now that we are in the second term of the academic year, planning has begun for the Above and Beyond Awards. Uh, myself and Hannah will be delivering those, so keep an eye out across all campuses for the ballot boxes. You'll be receiving more information about what the awards are, how to vote, how to get involved and how to make sure that your favourite member of university staff gets nominated and hopefully wins those awards. Uh, we've also been finalising all the STARS details uh, for last term of the academic year uh, and we can confirm that we've pretty much broken every record this year in relation to recruitment, training, numbers and all the rest of it. So a big thank you to everyone that's involved in the STARS programme. Uh, please keep up the hard work and keep your wins coming into us. As well as that, I've been working alongside Student Support and Guidance to look at launching a domestic abuse campaign within the bar to make sure that our bar remains a welcoming and safe space for all students at the university. Uh, as well as that, I've been working on and submitted a proposal to the university to get, try and get them to launch a guarantor scheme, uh, predominantly for international students, but also for other groups of students who find it difficult to get a guarantor for the private sector accommodation. Uh, I've met with LIS earlier in the month to discuss some of the issues that have been raised to do with university Wi-Fi, issues particularly for residential students that have to deal with it outside of sort of lectures in the library and that kind of stuff. Uh, but they've been really responsive to that and we're working on ways that we can take that forward and improve the service for all students across the university. Um, I will be later this week sitting on a panel to look at PGR bursaries, uh, so for postgraduate PhD students uh, and other research students, uh, what kind of grants they can get to support them through their studies at the university. Uh, as well as that, uh, alongside Student Council, we've been working really hard to make some key decisions um, on behalf of all students at the university, particularly in relation to the upcoming Teaching Excellence Framework and the National Student Survey. Uh, if you do want any more information about those, you can find those on our social media pages or come in and talk to us uh, at the Student Union. As well as that, after this year's annual general meeting, it's been decided that we will be having a referendum to do with NUS membership, that's the National Union of Students. That's coming towards the end of March, uh, so keep your eyes out for that because it is a massive decision to be made by the students uh, and it will affect whether or not your student union remains affiliated to the National Union of Students. Finally, uh, our own student union elections are coming up as well. Uh, and as I've been in position for two years now, I'm not eligible to restand. So if you are interested in running for either my position as Vice President Education, Vice President Activities or Student Union President, come and have a chat to any of us. You'll be hearing all about that throughout February and the elections themselves take place at the beginning of March. Uh, there's also NUS delegate positions available for those of you that are interested in getting a little bit more involved in what we do. Uh, so as I said, come and have a chat to anyone at the union about that, get the information and stand in the elections because you really can make a massive difference uh, to the students' union and the university as a whole. That's everything from me for this month, uh, so keep your eyes out for upcoming videos and as I said, come and chat to us if you want more information about anything that's been discussed in these videos. Uh, so thank you and peace!